As a bereaved midwife, I, I realised that there were voids in care for bereaved parents. In 2012, there were six bereaved midwives in the UK. There are now 338 of us. It's so obvious that we need to be pooling our resources. We need to be working as a continuum of care. We need to work forward together in that way. And really bringing together all these amazing people in the room and at home is phenomenal what, how we've moved forward. It shows just by the number of people in this room, by the number of people online, the passion and the drive that's there for maternity and neonatal nurses. And working together, supporting each other, is what we do best. Every one of you, and I've said this before, you are all amazing what you do. If you're ever feeling that you're unappreciated, well, there's two people here who actually appreciate everything you do. It's just seeing, going from the charity thing to look after families, to seeing what you're under. And you are absolutely amazing. It's the best profession in the world. We have to look after you. It is a very, very profound and traumatic moment to lose a child. And the effect takes a long time to even understand and get your head around. So we have invested money in making sure that there are these specialist trauma services for people who have suffered loss. We can decide how much time we put into building relationships and connecting. Think about the person, have that care and compassion for them, and they will give it back to you. So key learning from reading the signals, I think it's been positive progress. It does look like a signal surveillance system can work in uh, maternity and neonatal services. We're talking today about palliative care and bereavement care. 90% of those alive the onset of labour will die. 80% of those we offer survival focused care will die. 70% of those admitted to NICU will die. All these families need support. It's a hard time. It's not just the families, it's the professionals. Miscarriage means anything from the nice blue line, the positive pregnancy test that the introductory speakers mentioned, to the loss of a pregnancy before the neonatologist will come. 20, oh you can imagine what I'm like, 21 weeks and six days, no they won't come. <laughs> We're acutely aware of the rising pressures for those working on the ground um, in increasingly challenging circumstances and we recognise that when that when workforce is properly supported in an environment that's promoting learning, collaboration, transparency, um, it creates a safer, more positive environment for all concerned. So there's these two different parts of empathy something called cognitive empathy which is putting yourself in the mind of another person but there is another side to empathy and that is this idea of feeling with another person today has been all about you and please use your voice we hope you feel strength in numbers we are in this together, we're building a community. We can actually make a difference and influence change because that's what it's all about. How can we make this as good as it possibly can be for our staff, for our workforce, and ultimately for the families and the babies that we care for.